Hello, today we're going to be looking at the Moodle book plugin, how to use it and why you might use it. We'll start with the why. You might have a Moodle course that is many, many topics long and students have to scroll, scroll all the way down to find things um, as they work through the course. Now, books can be one really neat way of pulling everything together and getting more of a logical flow as well because you can write in or add audio instructions, um, you can add a lot more guidelines and just sequence things a little bit more. So, Moodle book plugin. Um, it's something you can download it from moodle.org is probably your best bet and you'll need um, your administrator to install it. Now before I get going with the um, book, I'd also like to just add an image to the welcome topic box at the top here. Also in this video I'm going to show you how to embed a, a, a YouTube video, uh, a video from another site and a voice thread video. But first we'll start by adding this, this image. So we'll click edit and we're going to click the add image button here. I've um, located an image, so what we'll do is we'll just click here, browse, and we want the Japanese ladies. We'll upload this whilst that's uploading. This is where I found it, so I'm going to right click, copy link location, go back to the insert the image, click on the image. I'll just call this Japanese ladies, like so, because I found it on Flickr, it's Creative Commons, I'm just going to put image source, highlight that, I'll change that to size 8, put in a link, so right click, paste that hyperlink that I got from Flickr, so that means that um, because it's Creative Commons, uh, somebody can click on this link and go to the place where I found the image as well. So I'll choose New Window so that a student wouldn't lose Moodle if they clicked on it. OK, click Save Changes. And once you can start to see, you can build something quite visual um, in, in your um, course. Now, the books. So we're going to add a resource. You'll see once the book plugin's installed, you can just click on book. And we're going to call this Japanese Language and Culture. I'll just pop in a quick summary, which will just make the same. So we're not going to have any chapter numbering, I don't think. And we're going to save and display. What happens then in your book is that your next page is the first chapter of that book. So just like a, a physical book, you'll end up with a ta table of contents with main chapter headings and then you can have sub chapters in that as well. So you can have sort of a main topic and then subtopics below that. So um, let's start with um, uh, Japanese movies. There we go. That's, that's a good one and save changes. I'm not going to add any content yet. I'll click on the add button here and we'll call this uh, oops, Japanese food and recipes and that should do us for now. Okay. Um, I'm going to just add a sub chapter now and we'll just put um, comments on movies. And I forgot to make it a sub chapter, so I can just pop click on edit, click on sub chapter, save my changes, and you'll start to see it begin to build. If you've put a chapter in the wrong place, say I wanted to move Japanese movies below Japanese food, I click the arrow and it moves along with its sub-chapter. So it makes it quite easy to move things around if you want to. So we'll just leave those there for now. Um, we'll start with the Japanese food and recipes. Click on the edit button. 
So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to embed a video in a book. So let's write a quick instruction here. Um, okay, like so. And then we're going to embed our video. So I found this pretty neat um, video here. In fact, this site's really good because it's got lots of uh, vocabulary about building, clothing, food, kitchen, equipment, the whole lot. For this site, the embed code is just here. Highlight it, right click, copy, go back to the Moodle site, and then you see these angle brackets. Click on that and it takes you into the HTML, which means you can then paste that embed code like so. The worrying thing is you can't see the video when you first embed it. So let's just click Save Changes. Once you click the Save, save Changes, though, your, your video pops up here. There you go. Um, the other things that you can embed, uh, I'll just do that once more, but with a YouTube video. So again, we click on the Edit, go to YouTube. This is um, Introduction to Japanese, so it's a much more uh, 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 wide topic. You'll find the embed code here. You click on embed, and your code pops up here. Again, right click, copy, go back to Moodle, click on the angle brackets, paste, and there's there's your video. Save changes, and this time you'll see the YouTube video there. The other really neat thing that you can embed is voice threads. So this is where you could have a main topic, a voice thread that either you've made or your students have made. This is one that I found about um, Japanese animations. To get the embed code for your uh, voice thread, you go to menu up here, click on embed, and you'll see the code here. Click on that. You can just click copy with this one, and it will tell you it's copied. Um, we'll go back to Moodle. Again, same sort of thing, angle brackets, right click, paste, and say you'd forgotten to add your, your instructions here. So what we'll do here is um, changes and there you go you see your instructions there and your voice thread there um, what you can also do is uh, you can link out to other sites so let's say you wanted your students to watch this and then find a Japanese recipe that uses some of the the food that they've been looking at so we'll just click on edit and here's a recipe that I found earlier. I'm just going to go up here, copy the URL, go back to here, um, let's just do that. Okay. So we can put a link to that site by doing that, click, clicking link, right click, paste, paste. Because it's in a in a new site again, choose new window. 
and then save changes. Now I mentioned that we're going to link to a wiki. Now one thing that you can't really do with a book, if we go back to edit, you can't add things like wiki. So what you have to do is you have to link to them already existing in your, in your course. So we'll go back to the course here. Here's a wiki that I've created earlier because I've already done a video on how to do uh, how to make the wikis. You right click over that, copy link location, go back into your book. Whoops. Choose a choose the book. Go back into your book. And we'll pop it into this one here. And where it says wiki, we'll highlight the word wiki. Click on the link, right click, paste, right click, paste. We'll open it in the same window because um, we're going to stay within the Moodle. Click OK, click Save Changes. And then when the students click on Wiki, what it does is it opens the Wiki that you want them to type into. And that's pretty much all there is to it. There's one last thing. So if you've built 20 topics here and you've built your 20 books here, you've got your links from your wikis and your discussion forums up into your books, what you can then do is you can hide your topics. So you go into settings, we'll always ask for you, for you to keep one topic, which is where you've got all your books. So choose one, click save changes, and here you'll see you've got your welcome and your your books. So if we turn the editing off, you'll start to see how really neat and tidy this could be. It could all fit into the first screen that a student comes to. So I hope you found that useful and thank you very much for listening today.